I made a video not too long ago about how to keep your butt awake on night shift. And I talked about healthy ways to do it rather than just drinking a ton of caffeine that throws your whole nervous system off. But some friends of mine who I have worked with told me about ways that I implemented, particularly when I was on patrol, that I would stay awake. And I totally forgot to mention them in the last video. So here's part two. And the first way I want to talk about is one that I learned from my senior drill instructor when I was in boot camp for the United States Marine Corps. I will never forget Gunnery Sergeant Philip Jordan. He was my senior drill instructor. Rest in peace, Gunnery Sergeant. You are not forgotten. Gunnery Sergeant Philip Jordan was one of the first Marines killed during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. He talked about a way one night when we were doing mail call about how you can stay awake because obviously boot camp was tough. We didn't always get the best of sleep and we had to stay awake during classes or we just had to find ways to have energy. I'll never forget one way he talked about, particularly for the guys, you extend your arm all the way out. And then with as much force as you can, oh, jab yourself right where it hurts. It's guaranteed to wake you up. No, I really don't recommend it. I don't do your, don't do damage to yourself. Okay, the other way I would recommend that will not hurt you is, that's right, scream. Yes, you know my handwriting's bad but scream. Ride down the road when I was tired, I'd grip the wheel and, and just <laughs> and it would prevent me from falling asleep. The next thing I would recommend you do is this. Push-ups. Get strong on night shift. It's also a way to stay awake when you we're not nocturnal. Like, we're not meant as humans to stay awake at night. So you're already going to be battling the natural factor of not being able to stay awake. But when you're sitting, particularly on like a rainy night when there's not a lot going on, wow, that can lead to sheer misery and it can affect your motivation because you are struggling so hard to stay awake. Push yourself mentally and do some push-ups. Or if you're that strong, you're pushing the earth down. <laughs> But when you move around and when you exercise through push-ups, which you can do pretty much anywhere, you not only condition your body to get some strength, but it does help you to stay awake. And it set a goal for yourself, maybe 200 a, a shift, and then just space them out in different increments and write them down in your notepad and keep how many you're doing. Hey, it works. Number three. A healthy snack to energize. Now I mentioned in the other video that I've made the mistake of getting that 24 hour gas station cookie that's right there by the cash registers. I mean, you just can't look away from them because they are that good. Those are good for 30 seconds, but the just how bad those things are for you can easily just destroy your body in the sense that you'll become a lot more tired. Whereas if you had a healthy snack with some wholesome fats or a vegetable packed with nutrients and vitamins for you, it can help wake you up a little bit more because you're providing your body with something that it needs. Get out of the car. Don't sit around anyway. Heck, I've talked in another video about how Sitting is the new smoking. It's not good for us at all. It can lead to inflammation, diverticulitis, cancer risk. I mean, it's really, really bad. Stiffness, I could go on and on. Also, it can lead to really bad sleepiness whenever you are working night shift and you haven't been moving around. So get out of the car and talk to someone or get out of the car to pull a joke on someone else. Never done that. Never have. No, never, never will. Never. Not at all. Number five, get good sleep. No, not while you're working, when you're at home during the day and you are trying to sleep. And the way you can do this is by making sure your room is dark. Just cover up the windows, blackout curtains, trash bags, whatever you gotta do to make your room dark because <coughs> we're not meant to sleep when it's bright, but also, if you can't darken your room, 
through curtains or putting trash bags on the windows. You can buy eye masks on, say, for instance, Amazon. But get the kind that come out a little bit around your eyes so that your eyelashes are not waking you up every time they're fluttering when against a, a flat face mask. Also, if you find yourself not being able to sleep, then deep breathing can actually relax your body. And whenever I was battling depression, a psychologist once told me, because I, I was having a hard time sleeping, he said, just focus on your breathing and your body will actually help itself get the relaxation that it needs. You can also take melatonin. It's what our body produces to tell the brain, all right, time to go to sleep. But you don't want to think that you have to have that in pill form in order to go to sleep. Also, don't eat a lot before going to bed because your body is working overtime to digest the food rather than putting all the focus on getting the sleep that you need after working a long night. So these are ways to stay awake. And believe it or not, the last but not least, number five, get good sleep during the day so that you don't go in night shift feeling awful, which I've done numerous times, but just really work on getting good sleep during the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button below. If you want to learn more about how to feel healthy on duty, then there is a link below for my book, 101 Health Tips for Police Officers. It will help you immensely. Oh, and if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification so you will be notified when I come out with a new video. Take care, stay awake, and may God bless.